In this video, I'll be unboxing a pair of Goral Bulsover trainers. But first, here's a brief overview of the Goral brand. In 1936, the Goral family began making men's formal footwear out of a small workshop in Krakow, Poland. It became that successful that the whole family, including the children, worked on the manufacture and distribution of the shoes. Fast forward to 2005, the family moved to Sheffield in South Yorkshire and established a new setup. From their workshop in Sheffield, they now craft high quality footwear for a variety of British fashion brands, as well as their own line of Goral shoes. Goral are powered by a team of shoemakers who mostly moved to the UK from Poland. As a descendant of Polish immigrants myself, this puts a big smile on my face. Each and every pair of Goral's own line shoes are made to order. Their website proudly boasts that the last pair of hands which touches the footwear before the customer is the craftsman who made the footwear. Now isn't that nice? As well as quality craftsmanship, sustainability is also one of Goral's key focuses. Where possible, they source their materials from local suppliers. For example, they work with tanneries in Leeds and Yeovil, and also source their packaging from Northampton. Goral also build their shoes to last. They offer a repair and resoling service so their shoes never need to be thrown away. Okay, so let's get to the unboxing. So I'll be unboxing a pair of Goral's Bolsover trainers, which I believe are named after Thomas Bolsover, who was a Sheffield cutler, better remembered for being the inventor of Sheffield plates. Uh, the box hasn't been opened yet, it's still factory sealed with the, uh, with the Goral tape. Uh, I've just taken my address label off, that's where the, uh, the shipping details were, but I've removed them. Uh, so let's get into it. And find a way in. Trickier than I thought. Oh, well, I've torn that, so. That was a graceful unboxing. Definitely a secure package though. There's a little uh, thank you message, and I guess that's the uh, the Goral uh, factory team there in the photo. Say what? There's a great smell of um, new shoes coming out of this box, which is uh, which is really nice. Uh, so let's get into the main event. So this is the the shoe box, quite a minimalist design. Got the uh, Goral logo on the top, made in England on the side. Then uh, since 1936 on the other side. Okay, let's take a look, shall we? Oh, there's a little note there that says thank you for ordering and the uh, name of the person who uh, checked and packed the shoes there as well. It's a nice touch. What's this? Oh, this must be a, uh, a dust bag uh, to store the shoes. It's a nice uh, 
nice way of adding value. I know that uh, our bedroom and now where I start our shoes get very dusty, so this will be going handy definitely. Okay, let's take them out. Ah, here we are. So as you can see, uh, the Bolsova are a pair of uh, white leather uh, low top uh, trainers with the uh, side stripe uh, detailing there. Um, leather uppers uh, as well as a uh, uh, leather, leather lining inside. Um, the laces are uh, waxed, wax cotton I believe. Um, as you can see, like a very clean and, and versatile uh, trainer which will no doubt work with a variety of, of outfits as, as, as white trainers tend to do. Uh, so what the smell, amazing, like the, the, new, the new shoe smell is, uh, is lovely. Yeah, so there we go, Coral Bulls for the trainers. Now, the reason these trainers look so long is that I do actually have size 13 feet. Um, a lot of uh, shoe styles don't scale up so well to uh, the large sizes. Um, they can look a bit clownish or a bit, uh, it's a bit huge. Um, but these seem to have scaled up quite nicely to, uh, to a large size. Um, so I'm really pleased with that. If you'd like to find out more about Goral and their unique ways of working, head over to their website where you'll find some fascinating behind the scenes content. I also recommend checking out their YouTube channel. In their recent videos they've been experimenting with materials and trying to find out what can and cannot be made into a shoe. For example they've tried to make shoes from high vis jackets as well as old Fred Perry polo shirts uh, and also a stuffed pepper pig. Um, so do check that out, it's quite interesting. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.